Greetings, Judah. DFG getting us flight here. Hey, guys. Uh, this is a message to some of our family members talking about the tribes who uh, have been recently uh, diagnosed diagnosed with, I don't know, cold, maybe the flu, maybe allergies, maybe the plague. But you were recently diagnosed with the last of those four things that I said. And now you have become our lecturer. See, I told you so. See, I warned you. You didn't believe it. You said it was a conspiracy theory. Here's what I say back to you. Well, I don't know. Maybe breathing in your toxins for the last year plus. Breathing in bacteria, not getting fresh air. Compromising your internal organs including your lungs. Maybe it weakened your immune system, even to the degree where now, you know, you're being quarantined because you either have the flu or cold, pneumonia, or according to them, the plague. But let us be clear here. That argument don't, you know, that, that doesn't hold water. We're not buying that. If we're not going to talk about all these things that you did as a preventive, that was supposed to be effective, but now you're, you're down for the count. You're on your ass because, you know, you have been, you know, diagnosed as, you know, having one of those four symptoms that I just mentioned. You'd rather accept the one that fits the narrative. That's, that's your prerogative. But it's bullshit for you to come back us trying to sell us on that. Yeah, you're right. It's your experience. I have no question about it. We're not going to question your experiences. And we're not going to question ours when we get the cold, the flu, pneumonia. But I can tell you one thing for sure. We're not going to excuse the fact that over a year, we have not been allowed to breathe fresh air, to stay healthy, to refrain from breathing in our own toxins, bacteria, coming outside and putting on things that hinder our ability to take in fresh air, which our body needs to stay strong and healthy. You know, we're not going to forget that part of the conversation. So you go on with your narrative and you go on with, you know, your understanding and your preaching. But you go preach to yourself. You go preach, you know, to others. Because see, those of us who are covered by Yah, we know people get sick every single day. We know that people get pneumonia, flu, the cold. It's been going on for eternity. Nothing new there. As they say, nothing new here, nothing here to find new. So we're going to say this to you. We hope you recover very soon. We hope you get well. We hope that you can go outside and breathe in some air without letting a stranger tell you not to, which could cause you to get sick. And ultimately, it could cause you to be diagnosed as whatever it is you want to believe that they tell you it is. But again, that's your argument. That's your truth. That isn't our truth. And for us who are believers, we stand on the word of Yah. We understand that, that sickness and, and, and pestilence and diseases and illness are going to come. They've always been here on this earth. We also believe that some of it comes through animals. We also believe that some of it comes through pollution. Some of it comes through the dietary uh, regulations that we practice or don't practice. Some of it comes from the water we drink. Some of it comes to the, the lack of cleanliness that some of us seem not to understand, like bathing and staying in clean environments. You know, cleaning, brushing the toilets and wiping up the piss from around the commodes and you know, washing your damn dishes and making sure you wash your hands. You know, some of those things, you know, that we tend to not do because we're too damn lazy. Not all of us. So we understand that there's many virus that lays on surfaces that can, you know, cause us to get cold, flu, pneumonia. But we also know this. You don't have the right to push your dogma on us just because you're experiencing, as you said, your own experience. At the end of the day, as the old saying goes, you do you and we're going to do us. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to stand on the fact that Yah has us. We're going to stand on the fact that no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. We're going to stand on the fact that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. We're going to stay on the fact that you shall know the truth and that truth shall set you free. That's our truth. Now you can take that with your doctrine of doc, your doctrines, excuse me, of devils. And you go sell that to you and your kind. And quarantine. Please, please quarantine. Please quarantine. Because we don't need your sickly ass around us. How about that? But the healthy those of us who, you know, understand that, hey, look, at the end of the day, I need fresh air. I need to breathe. I need to stay clean. I need to bathe. I need to wash my ass. Let me be clear here. I need to eat right. I need to get rest. I need to not hinder areas of my body that needs oxygen intakes and areas of my body that need to release gases and toxins that can poison my ass. I need to understand that. And maybe if I abide by those laws of nature and continue to trust Yah, I think I can survive any damn thing. That's what I got for you, okay? So, our hearts go out to you. We are so sad. And we are so sorry. You got, you, you, you know, you're not feeling well. But we're also going to remind you to go out there and get you some goddamn exercise, drink you some water, get you some sleep, start eating right. Sanitize your environment. And stop breathing in your own goddamn toxins every day because somebody told you you had to. DFG. Talk to you later. Right now.